at shocking a spa, there's basically three ways that we consider shocking the spa. Using a bromine concentrate, which is a granula, a dichloro concentrate, which is also a granula, and monoprosulfate, which is also a granula. So a third way we can um, sanitize or shock a spa is with potassium monoprosulfate. And this is a chemical that came out some years ago. And again, you'll see the similar consistency uh, of what we had before. Uh, one thing that's noticeable is the smell. Very, very easy on your sense of smell. The drawback to monoprosulfate, in, uh, in our opinion at Easy Test, is it's not the disinfectant and the sanitizer that a bromine or a chlorine will give you. So it has less of a potential for sanitization in our opinion and it's primarily used a lot in spas and primarily used in commercial pools as well so that when we have a total chlorine and a free chlorine and we have chloramine so we try to keep the split between total chlorine and free chlorine at less than 0.02 and what happens is we need to shock it if that split becomes larger. Now in a commercial pool, we can use this product to break what we to hit what we call breakpoint chlorination, to break the chloramines up, and at the same time continue to use this pool. So basically we'd only have to have the pool down for 30 minutes, where if we use the chlorine shock, it would be much longer. So in spas, it's used the same way. It can fight um, chlorine lock. So you have, a, say, a 2.0 total chlorine, and you take your reading on your free chlorine, and it's 1.0. You have a one-point split. You could use this um, potassium on the sulfate to break the chlorine lock. However, you're not dealing with such a strong uh, sanitization product here. So of the three, this would be the lowest in the sanitization scale. So again, monoprosulfate. Once again, easy on the um, sense of smell, effective in dealing with chlorine lock in a spa, making the free and the total equal. However, on a sanitization scale, much lower than the granulum bromine and or the stabilized dichlorochlorine.